morning, everyone. Thanks for tuning back in. So we're on our way back to Ray City Steel. Um, pick up some thicker gauge aluminum sheeting for the roof of the bump out. Want to make that a little stronger than originally planned in case uh, someone walks on it or you know whatever. We can mount stuff to it. So going down to pick up uh, two four bay sheets of that, and then I'm returning. We changed our design, so I had a couple 24 foot sticks of the two by two left over. They didn't want to take it back. It's not really what they do, but I sweet talk to them. So we're taking that back. Um, then I'm, we're working on the ladders today too, and I'm gonna try to get some of those little weld plugs for the for the tubing. Um, I think that's it for now. All right, check out our progress. We got the bump out done, and we started the sheeting. Check it out. is Jess here with Overlander Project. Just wanting to bring you out here in the shop to give you guys a new view of what's been going on. As you can see over here, John and Nate have been working on, they call it the sleeping berth. I'm just gonna say bump out. There, you see where the window is gonna be. This is gonna fit a king size bed. It's so pretty cool. Oh yeah, that right up there, it's a laser cutout that they did to cover up the light hole, which will then move back onto the box after it's finished. Got the windows, which I think he's shown you before. I'm gonna take you inside. Let's go on in, I'm gonna show you guys. We've got a few of the cabinets in, the base cabinets. And enter in, I think we've shown you all the floor before, but. I really like it, so I'll show it to you again. Up here is the tin ceiling we've got put in. The section back there that looks incomplete, that's actually going to be the bathroom. We haven't decided yet on a ceiling for that, what we're gonna do, but most likely won't be this tin. I'm not sure that that would hold up well. Back there, you see the bump out. Go back here and show you that. Those two crossbars that you see straight back right there, those will be to support the mini split. The two rectangular sections right there, and right there, those are for the tail lights. And then you can see we've got the little window cutouts here. It's coming along nicely. I think I already told you that that's gonna be large enough for a king bed. Coming along, looks really nice. We'll be back soon with more progress. How to drive? Good, great. Did it? I'm excited about getting it finished and then getting it on the road. Heck yeah. <laughs> 